Hey, good morning. This is Jared and Nate over at eCarrier Check, and we're excited for today. We're bringing you a little bit more of a raw look on cold calling shippers, right? All the videos we've produced before, those are also raw, but I pre-planned who I was calling. Now, I didn't call those people before and did any planning of any sort, but I had some pre-planning, and people always ask us, how do you figure out which leads to call? Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to show our secrets today, or my secrets anyway. Yeah. Um, and we're going to do that. We're going to make some calls. We're going to get some people on the phone, see if we can get a client today. That's the ultimate goal. Let's quote somebody today. Yeah. I'm Jack. Me too. I'm we're excited. doing it raw. We're going to show you how I pick a person, how we pick them. And we're going to go through the, the gambit here yeah. of do I like their website? Yeah. Do I like the way they, the, you know, who the carrier mix that they're using currently, mm -hmm. you know, does the equipment make sense? I'm going to continue to call for that brokerage. We, we have a great, really good relationship with, so you'll hear me making calls for NTC Nebraska transport. Um, but I'm excited, man. Me you know, too. raw is raw is the best way of doing it in my opinion. I think so too. And you know, we see a lot of the feedback on our channel, you know, the comments, which are, are wonderful. Um, you know, we thought about this yesterday, so I'm really excited. I think this is going to give you guys a different look on how to use the site. Yeah. Maybe tell our story a little bit better for you. So um hope the week's going great. Hope yeah. everyone had a good Labor Day weekend. But, Absolutely. You know, let's, let's get it going. Let's, and, let's um, grind. Yeah. We, you know, honestly, we've got a few months left yeah. Um, yeah. in the year. And, uh, you know, I saw an article yesterday. It was talking about how capacity is tightening, mm -hmm. fuel's rising. Um, and so with those escalators, right, anytime there's – change like that there's opportunity yeah we need to tell a story that presents that opportunity because a lot of these shippers these people we're going to talk to today hopefully right yeah. um maybe in such a grind that we need to provide them value with our call yeah right yeah. and the value that we're going to bring them is hey we're seeing rates do this we're seeing carriers do this hey how are you checking out fraudulent carriers right so there's those things that we're going to talk talk to them about today but let's uh, let's jump into this man, yeah. and and let's make some calls, man. I'm this super jacked for this. Uh, I got my tie dye shirt on today. I don't know what else you need. In life, yeah, so. your daughter did a great job. I might have to give you one of those. <laughs> All right, That's awesome. Sit her done. Sit so. her done. Uh, so here's here's what you know. I'm gonna always always want to call on their niche. Okay. Right. Um, their niche is flatbeds, and so let's click on the flatbed icon. Okay. okay? And I'm just gonna have you drive and. I'll uh, be a backseat driver, if you will. Yeah. And Just we're going like to call, <laughs> let's call like mid Atlantic area. Okay. Let's call the Carolinas, Virginia. Let's call somewhere in that. Room, okay. Okay. So wherever you want to go, let's call in that area. Okay. If you want me to switch it up, let me know. All right. Um, so open deck. So we got open sure, deck. We got 15 it. pages, right? So it's like, well, what do we do? Thank you for zooming that in because yes. <laughs> I can't see a thing, right? Yep. Um, I, you know, a few things that I'm looking for personally is like bunker steel. Nothing wrong with steel itself. I like sort of customized steel instead of rolled steel. And what I mean by that is I want to call the shipper that's using raw steel to make another product. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So we can call Bunker Steel. Um, let's push the magnifying glass and let's just take a look at what they do. Premier distributor products throughout the United States. Let's. Oh, it looks like they're making like pipe and stuff. Let's click on them real quick. Go into their website. Yeah, yeah. So for those of you that just um, that are seeing this, uh, what we did is hit that magnifying glass, and I don't know if it's showing up. It's on. it's spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning. Okay. Must be our connection to this morning. Or click on the actual webs. Yeah, there we go. I think it's just their website. So, okay, so they're making. I'm gonna give these guys a preview of what we're seeing. Here. Oh, got it, got it, got it. There we go. So this is their website. Perfect. So I mean, they got an about us, a contact us. Scroll down real quick. Anything else going on? Thirty years. Our service area. This is kind of interesting. Uh, as many API approved. Um, international quenching tempering. It looks like they're primarily oil field. Okay. Scroll down a little bit more. Um, they've got a Houston place, and they're, you're hauling pipe essentially, right? right? right. I, something real quick. Go back into e-carrier check. Yeah. I actually don't mind this lead. This isn't this isn't rolled steel, right? This right. they took 
they took it to a different level, right? right? They took that raw product, made it into their product. Right. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I don't want to call the raw goods. I want to call this the, the first or second tier company personally. This is my personal opinion. If I call rolled steel, they have 40,000 friggin' brokers and a hundred thousand carriers and they just blow it out in an email. Right. And it's just like, you're just cheapest man wins. There's no relationships. Yeah. It's silly. Right. Yeah. So if I go back into e-carrier check though on bunker steel, I want to go back in real quick. Okay. So the hiring index 78%. Let's go in and see who the carriers are. Mm, I love this. Right. 50% of the carriers that they hire are out of service. They've had an out of service in the last six months. That's out of control, right? Our screen's a little floppy because of we zoomed it in. Yeah. But go go down here. Okay, they're shipping over to that area that we're talking about, right? Yep. They're, you know, you and I are talking about, you know, calling. This is why it showed up. We right. do our OD payers right. at, on all the shippers. And so that's what you're seeing. So let's go down. So we just saw this. This is really interesting. Virginia, Maryland, Florida. Mm, right where those carriers are from yeah but the freaking company's out of houston yep you know they're using freight brokers mm -hmm. let's call i like this yeah you know what i mean and let's for those of you that are curious on how jared's going about this i mean this is things that he's learned you know so definitely get your you know your feet dirty or whatever you know what i mean like these are things you experience yeah and this is this is kind of like things that you've gone through and you're yeah. kind of brokering so you you went you wanted to start here instead of here um, I, and I think that's, you know, we obviously our crowds are so new, right. so I was kind of giving them an right, idea. Right. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. A, it's a, honestly, it's a really good point because when we go back to the list and we'll talk about this after this call, okay. Okay. but when we go back to this list and you start going through this and we just grabbed the first one, right? right? right. I, there were some people that I saw that, that I probably wouldn't call. Right. Just right. visually I saw them and I'm like, I'm not going to call them. I'll explain that in a second. Okay. okay. But let's call Bunker Steel. Give me the number of this company um, and let's see what we can accomplish. Okay. Uh, it's down in Houston. Uh, maybe they have other yards somewhere else. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Does it say go to, so they go to about us yeah. real quick? Yeah, my connection's really slow today. Yeah, it happens. All right. Our mission, their fancy building. They Ooh. probably. Man, look at that thing. Yeah, keep going. Office address. Okay. They just want everything to funnel through here. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yes, sir. I'm feeling good about this. Feel good, look good, play good. Yeah. Let's see. You know, and for those of you that are nervous on a call, right, take a deep breath and have three seconds of courage. All it takes is a quick, hey, can I talk to somebody in shipping? If we knew a name, like we could go on LinkedIn and try to find a name. That does help, right? Right. Here's when you sound silly, is when that information's wrong. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. That guy's gone or whatever it may be. So I like to go out this raw, right? Yeah. Let's just call. Let's see if we can talk to somebody in shipping. If they refuse to let me have somebody in shipping, the goal is to get a name, email, address, phone number, right. stuff like that. Right? Love it. So here we go. Hey, this is Jared over at Nebraska Transport. How's it going? Pretty good, thank you. Hey, I was hoping I could talk to somebody in shipping. They are not taking any phone calls right now because everything's super slow. Do you want to try back sometime, maybe mid next month? Okay. Um, is there somebody? To try back. Okay. Is there somebody I should be asking for, or? No, you just call and I'll answer. And if something's going on, then I'll direct you to whomever is available. Okay, but it's pretty pretty slow in your world. Very. Yeah. Very. Yeah. But I can imagine, you know, obviously you probably get, you know, hundreds of calls a day, I'm sure. Um, yes. I mean, it's just, you know, when it picks up, it picks up. When it goes slow, it goes like, <laughs> like we're very slow. Like drastic <laughs> slow. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. Well, let me throw you on my list. I'll, I'll give you a call, maybe, you know, halfway through, maybe three quarter of the way through of next month and, and see if something's picked up or changed. And um, sure. away we go. What, what was your name? My name is Veronica. Veronica, my name is Jared. I will, uh, and I'm from Nebraska, Veronica. So 
uh, oh, wow. yeah. So I'll, uh, I'll be in touch. We, we do quite a bit in the, in the oil fields and, and a lot of flatbed work and, and just, you know, one call people that makes more sense for me instead of just some random company, you know? No so. problem. Give me a call back in a few weeks. We'll uh, see what happens. Okay. Thanks Veronica. Have a great day. Thank you. All okay. Right. See ya. It wasn't bad. You know, there's a lot of ways to look at your pipeline, right? Okay. Your pipeline should, it's always out, right? Right. And so in my mind, if I can get a name and number, she didn't give me who we were talking to. She's right. giving a lot of these calls. But here's what my hope was. I gave her, I gave her, you know, uh, just a, a quick, you know, my name's from, I'm from Nebraska. Yep, I was, yep. And here's hopefully the differentiator. Go back, go back to Bunker Steel real quick. Go back to their website. <clears throat> And scroll down. I would put cash on this. That that email right there, inquiries at bunkersteel.com, is going to her. Yeah. Right? So yeah, it sounds like it from if everything goes to her. Yeah. I would assume. Yeah. I bet she's funneling this in. Okay. And so what I think would be my action item here is two things, right? A, if I would have provided enough value on that call, I would have gotten to the right person. Okay. Right? Okay. So B, I need to continue to show value. How I'm going to do that is I'm just going to assume that those emails are answered by Veronica. Okay. I'm going to say, good morning, Veronica. And in my subject line, I'm going to put Nebraska. Mm. And I'm going to do that in the next hour. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And because then she's going, yeah, okay. And I'm going to just give her a quick little tidbit of, of who we are and why we do it. I try to put a little value in there of, hey, you know, we work in the oil fields. You work in the oil field, right? I, she'll remember this. Yeah. And a couple of things, too, that I, I you didn't touch base on, but you said it. You came out with the objections right away. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I know you get a yeah. bunch of calls. Yeah. Oh, it's already it's slow in your world. Like, yeah. You uh, you brought that out first, which, which I like. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, so... We're going to do the assumption email. Yep. Just a quick blast. And then, uh, you know, you know where the money's at is in follow up, right? Mm -hmm. So you start to build a relationship with Veronica over the course of the next month, two months, six months, because when they do get busy, you've got some opportunity. Exactly. Right? Your foot's in the door. I know right now everybody today wants a load, wants something now. But if you play the long game, yeah, you can win. So, all right, let's keep going. Like uh, we'll we'll send an email, uh, and then we'll put it in a calendar to follow up in a month. Okay. Right now, something interesting about this. Let's go back real quick because I think this is really important to to show. Now we're on the e carrier check here, but normally what you know what I would do if I was a freight broker is I would actually mark them as a to do, right? And I would just put Veronica in there. And the number, 713-868-7000, right? I'll now make, she's I'll not. Here. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Good point. Just, just Veronica, call Veronica and save, right? It's fine. That's fine. So, but if, you know, if I was going to continue down the road, exactly, I would set a reminder. Go show them how to do that. Yeah. And I, I would just get a text or a call. Or, I wouldn't mm -hmm. even, I would just text it, but set a reminder. Because she said to check in, like. A month from now or yeah, something, Yeah, three right? weeks is three the, weeks. how she ended. She okay. was checking with me in three weeks. Yeah, that's good. And then just push next. And I, personally, I like, go. can you go back or not? No, or is it kind I of can, screw that I up? I can do No, you're fine. You're fine. But personally, what I like is I'd rather get a text or a call because my email, I get so inundated with emails Ooh. of all this stuff. Yeah. I don't, I want to make sure that it's coming to me. Right. I push next and, and on the settings is how you get that to get to where you need it to go. Right. And I guess that's a good point too. Cause if you were to be out and about, right. you know, maybe you don't right. check your email. Yeah, so exactly. Like that. So idea. three weeks from now I set this, you know, to, yeah, exactly. And, and, and what time do we call? We called that. We called right now. So I think this is a great time. Yeah. I think it's a great time. She seemed relaxed on the phone. She didn't yeah. seem rushed. Nope. You know, you can tell the difference between, a rushed call and none. 
That's yeah, and, and that's the one thing I was going to point out too is you understood that you could ask another question or go bingo. Yeah, yeah. If you, you if you felt that she was dressed, could feel it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were right next to each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's keep cooking here. So, okay, so let's just look at this next one. CM Tucker Companies. They're you know, it looks like they're shipping out east. Um, you know, forty one percent index. They do have that. They're a low volume. You know, oh, shipper, yeah. right? Let's just take a look and see what that looks like or means. Okay. Just go into their website if you don't mind. So, okay. So for me, I'm going to pass. Okay. Um, I, you know, let me give a, let me, let me show everyone here before we, here we go. So you're passing on this. And I am going to take this. I'm going to, I don't necessarily want to call them. It looks like it's a lumber company. Uh, that's had a couple shipments that that we by chance got their information. I, it doesn't look like it may be either a big enough or b it could be just a retail yard. I'm gonna pass. Okay, let's keep going. Right. Also, lumber is really really challenging um, to get into. Sure. Uh, so let's keep going. Okay. Uh, fair fair alloy Charleston. I love leads like this. Let's go to their website real quick. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I love this. Let's okay. go to their okay. website and I'm going to explain why. All right. Show this time instead. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's a good website. Yeah. Uh, good website. I'd wish it was older. Um, but anytime we see, can you go into. Um, schedule receiving look at this schedule incoming deliveries to our indiana location um keep going can we see their locations this is kind of what i'm looking okay. for Let's see if we can find really? i liked that I did you see that, that? Yeah. Like, like they were like touching elbows like try it let's try it <laughs> just real quick. i really enjoyed that oh look at that like, it's like covid touching elbows like, do you remember yeah. that oh, yeah. sorry somebody on bed at that <laughs> Uh, keep going. Let's see if we can find the locations, right? One, two, uh, locations. Here we go. Here we go. So corporates in Chicago, that's where we're going to probably call, but let's go to locations. Um, and close to vendors. Look at this. Look at this. Charleston division, Midwest division, Oh wow. Oregon division, uh, Indiana pickling and processing division. You know, now I know we'll, we'll probably find out here in a second, but all these divisions, do they typically all do their own thing? So could you honestly call every single division? That that's a good question. Or do they all, you know, are they all together? Uh, there's there's a, a couple different ways to to explain this lead. The reason why I liked it up in the any e carrier check yeah. was anytime I see a name of a company with a city listed beside it. Mm. I know they have multiple companies. Okay. Right? Okay. Interesting. Have you ever met somebody that's not from an area like, and so if I meet somebody that's lived in Denver their whole life and I ask, Hey, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Denver. Right. But if you, if you talk to like a transient guy, right, they go, Oh, I'm from Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We don't need to know that you have you're from Colorado. Right? Yeah, yeah. Same with shippers. This is so interesting that shippers do this, but they'll list their cities on their bill of ladies. Interesting. Right? Yeah. So anytime I see a city, I, I start I start salivating. <laughs> like I, I'm like, this is this, this is, is it, it because yeah. they have multiple locations. Okay. You know, that's why the first thing yeah. I'm saying, where are they where's their location? Mm. And you could I, I knew based on just that name yeah. that they have multiple locations, they're transient. That's right? fair. Okay. They're the guy that just moved to Denver and has to explain that Denver is in Colorado. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not the this guy is, that's been this around. This is a completely different way of looking at this data. Like, <laughs> right? That's crazy. Right? I love that. So, so this is a great company. This is a very long sales process. I'm going to guess that we can't get in, but here's the two things that we can do. Yes. Okay. Number one is, in my personal opinion, it's worth our time to call corporate and try to get set up as a company. Okay. And honestly, even using that verbiage, 
you know, sometimes they're such a large company, they just have processes in place in order to set up vendors. Yeah. So this might be a, where we get like a bunch of names. You got to talk to this person. Right, right. There's, okay. There could be more to yeah. this, right? Oh, yeah. Now, here's, here's what I call champion selling, okay? And I've met a couple sales guys that are like this, where they got in with a huge corporation because he kept calling all the branches, mm. right? Yeah. And he got in with a huge, huge corporation. In fact, it's kind of funny. He worked it backwards. He called the local guy and the local guy, hey, you should probably call this guy. And that guy told him to call this guy. Yep. About three to six weeks later, he's working with 16 branches. And all of a sudden they're like, what in the hell is going on? There's nothing wrong with that, but he, let's not skip some of the process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Corporate is handle billing. Corporate's handling setup, right? Right vendor management so if you work it that backwards right where you go through the stores there's a possibility that you have a delayed accounts receivable because you didn't follow their corporate process right okay it's kind of funny how that works okay. so my opinion we're going to call corporate right here and see what they say now they do have like leadership and FAQs. The the assumption is is that if we went into frequently asked questions, yeah, you know, we could probably see something about shipping. So let's just push FAQ. Focus. There we go. Let's see. How do I contact for employee verification? There's some emails. Look, we already get this is kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. You're gonna get the email format just from right there. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's first name, initial, last name, and then mm -hmm. Ferro Alloy. Mm, you already, we, we already got this. Uh, and honestly, if do you have LinkedIn on here? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure if I'm signed in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, let me do it this way. What's the name of this? We'll just go offline here a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I go into, how do you spell it? F-E-R? F-E-R-A-L-L-O-Y. Oh, there they are. Okay. So, you know, it looks like they describe themselves as a mining company. Okay. Ferra Alloy Corp., right? And we're just going to click on that. And then we're going to see um, there's three people. Let me just go to people and employees. Where's the employee? Sometimes it's better on the computer. Yeah. But normally what happens is you see people that are in the logistics, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Yeah, especially if they're big enough, the shipper, they'll start yeah. showing that. Yeah. Right. So, okay. So 17 decision makers in sales, uh, materials manager, right? There's, there's that director of materials management, materials manager, quality manager, territory manager. We're just going to see all employees and then see you. Yeah, yeah. So the assumption is, is this this gal right here right. is making some decisions for shipping because I'm connected with a few people that are connected with her. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we know her name. Yeah. We know the email addresses. Way we go. Uh, where do I send my invoices? Look at this. We can find out real quickly. Uh, how do I get into the plant? I'm sure it's kind of challenging, right? So. Yeah. You know, the, the other thing, too, is they actually say, what are your shipping and receiving hours? So mm. let's see if there's anything more here. I like this. Hours vary by first location. First come, first serve. Yeah. Go back. Go. I'm not sure what happened. There, there, we, go. there we go. Close at noon. Charleston is Monday through Friday, 24 hours. Close on Friday at 5. Like, there's the phone numbers, direct phone numbers. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So we may call that. <laughs> but let's call corporate first and yeah. see what happens. Okay. okay. So just working the lead here. There we go. So I think this is the one you uh, want. Yeah, this is raw, man. Like this is this is good. I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> uh, give me that number. So it's 773-380-1500. Oh, I got to push it right here. 773-380-1500. Now, I don't think I'm going to ask for somebody in shipping yeah. when I'm calling corporate. Okay, this is interesting. Right? They don't have a shipping manager at right. corporate, right? They probably have a supply chain manager. Mm -hmm. 
a logistics manager. This is something else that I was looking for on LinkedIn. Right. I want to tell you how to recognize patterns. They have material managers, right? Mm -hmm. So if I call and say, hey, can I, you know, I speak with somebody in logistics and supply chain. That's probably the better play than asking for somebody in shipping when right. you're calling corporate. Mm, that's good right. feedback. So here we go. That's very interesting. Sarah Lord Corporation's corporate office. If you know your party's four digit extension, you can dial it now. For a directory of employees, press one. For a department listing, press two. To hear our fact, address, and website information, press three. And to repeat these options, press pound. Thank you for calling. Let's call this department. For the accounting department, press one. For credit, press two. For information systems, press three. For the executive offices, press four. And for human resources, please press five. Let's go with executive and just see where this goes. For the accounting department. Here we go. Please leave a detailed message for Fairloid Corporation so we may return your call. Record your message. They, the they didn't like that. Okay. So this is gonna be tough. They, to this is a into. longer this is a longer yeah. call. So let's do this. Go back into that FAQ and let's call Charleston. Okay. So there's the number, 843-336-4356. Um, and we're just going to call this. Let's call them and see what happens. Okay. Now we're going to ask for something. Yeah. Okay. Hey, this Diluja. No, no. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Hey, this is Jared over in Nebraska. How's it going, man? Hi. Hey, uh, we get trucks into Charleston uh, usually on Mondays. And I'm just trying to figure out possibly how I could work with you or how you guys move your freight. Oh, well, the freight's not good right now. We're really, really slow right now. Yeah. And right now, it's about to get ready for the storm. Yeah, that's, that's fair. You guys are battening down the hatches and away you go, right? Yep. Yep. That's what you're I completely understand that. Maybe I can call you back next week after the storm. Would you be okay with that? Yeah, you can call. Okay. What, what was your name? Damon. All right, man. Hey, uh, Damon, you stay safe. We'll chat after the storm and uh, and see right. what we can do. Yes, sir. All right, take care, man. Yeah. Not terrible. Yeah, he's still a pretty nice guy. Uh, yeah, like not terrible. Like it's it's worth the time to call next week. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're calling in a hurricane area. What do you do? Yeah. What do you yeah. do? What do you do? <laughs> um, so the goal with this one is we call next week. Okay. Right. And again, we follow that process. Yep. You just, it's lather, rinse, repeat. Yep. It's lather, rinse, repeat. We just go, let me, oh. let me just see. No, no, no. You can go back to e carrier okay. check. I just needed the um, F E R A L L O Y. Okay. Call Tuesday. Cool. I can't remember his name, but we'll put that. Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah, you're, <laughs> so you're, you're, matter. Just, you're just going. Yeah, you're just here. going. You just flow. Oh, you know right? where to call next? Oh, look, week? it's actually, we have a next week button. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. They're programmers. Let's man. just they're, push next week. They're freaking amazing. I love that. There oh, you go. Fast, simple. I'm going to bookmark them. I course. appreciate that. That was wonderful. So to do. Yeah. Call back. Charleston. Charleston. Yeah. You know, there we go. Website. Yep. Done now. Save that. Boom. I love it. That's All sweet. right. So let's, uh, let's keep cooking. Let's see what we've got on the docket here. MG Brick and Stone, String Fellow Lumber, Tri County Rock, Diamond Hill. A couple things, too, real quick. Okay. You know, we made two calls. Both have said they're drastically slow. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could tell. Like, uh -huh. you can hear it in the voices of these people. Right. You know, they're slow, right? Um, let's keep looking. Camden Yard, Steel, Magnum Products is kind of interesting. You know, anything that says forest is going to be lumber. Nucor is humongous. Lumber is not interesting. Metal one. Hueytown, Chester Wood. Let's keep going. Cylinder and tank. What's that? I like this. Yeah, Dell, advanced cylinder and tank. When does that storm hit? That's a good question. Yeah, we'll find out. We didn't have the weather on this We morning. didn't have the weather on this That's morning, although we could go on EK or check and look. We could. Um, I, okay. What is this? Welcome to our new website. They repair, refurbish liquid propane tanks and cylinders. Hmm. That's kind of interesting yeah. about us. 
I, you could tell that they're smaller, mm -hmm. right? They don't have a very fancy website. No. Um, there's no pictures. Or, there's no pictures. If you go to services, was there anything new on that, or did you go to that already? Uh, not yet. Service area. Let's see what they do. Okay. They love the Southeast. Based in, okay, our base of operations is in Dell, and our sales team is based out of North Carolina. We serve the Southeast. I love that. Okay. I, this is a small shipper. I'm going to guess that we talk to, like, a manager, maybe the owner. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, let's just see how this goes. Small shipper. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that down there. Yeah, I know. I, I'm getting <laughs> old. I get that. Why is it? Kind of drying up. Now. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I get that. All right, here we go. extension listings normally normally they put the most important person first okay. you know what i mean yeah. so i dialed the first extension right okay. um but normally they'll put you know they don't normally list the guy in the back first they list the general manager then mm -hmm. they start listing it out imagine an extension list is very similar to an org chart okay Does that makes sense yeah so when you get those situations, just call the first person. Okay. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Uh, where we at? Nope. Uh, keep running a little bit. Let's go. What's that? What's Tom's Thomas and Company? What is that? Look like a fairly big company. Reliable resource for pressure treated lumber, utility poles, and piling. Hmm. I actually don't mind utility poles. This is no different than I don't want steel rolls. Okay. I want the after product. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let's let's try this one. I, I'm assuming they're out of somewhere different than certified. You know what? Buildings. Have we called this place before? Have we? I don't know. Mainly yeah, because I'm asking because I've seen these. You've seen these before. two ladies before. We Unless might. I was on a Zoom call with another broker. But, <laughs> that's fair. You know, I think that's what it was. I think, you know, I was on a call with the broker and we found this lead. Okay. Uh, go to About Us real quick. Or contact us. Yeah. Executive team. Let's just see what's going on. Yeah, because those two ladies, yep. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Insane. Here's their direct dial. Ellen's a treasure. And she's she must be Pat's mom, maybe? Brent's their, their guy. They got a chief administrator. They got a controller, human resource, vice president of operations. There's Randy right there. That's who we're calling. We're going to call his direct dial and see how this goes. I love that this is on their website. Yeah. I mean, here's their phone number. Here's their email address. It's just right, right there. Yeah, we're just going to call the guy that makes the decisions whether they bring on carriers or not. The only thing I don't know yet is where are they out of? Right. So let's just see. Go to contact us. Scroll down. Mm, okay. Um, accounting products, inventory, customer tool. Okay, contact mm. us. All right. Go back to um, company overview, maybe. Integrity. There's the founder. Good for him, man. That's crazy. Yeah. I love these old companies. Look at this. Delivery and distribution. 
just-in-time delivery, regional distribution points, rapid disaster response, rail capability, self-unloading trucks. So they must have something. Let's go into who they're using as far as freight. They have their own trucks. I don't think that's going to stop the conversation. Jordan, Power and Construction Group, which I'm going to guess is them. Look, they use huge, huge companies. Yep. Knight Rider, and then they've got these two smaller companies, Georgia and Houston. Okay. So let's look up their name and put locations behind it. Okay. THRM, THRM. Not so much on here. Good, oh, on, okay. good on Google. Sorry, Google. sorry, sorry. Very good. I didn't want to see what else I could find there. Yeah. There we go. Now that's uh, association. Let me see. Go back up, Tom. That's not them. There's Thomason. T H O M A A A S S O N A S S O N, yeah. Uh, maybe do Thomason Lumber. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Headquartered location in Mississippi. Okay. So they're out of Mississippi. Wood Poles, Biling, contact us. Uh, they look like a fairly large company, right? Yeah. So. Let's call that VP of operations and let's just see where this goes. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Randy. Randy DeWeese. I love this. Hey, is this Randy? Hey, Randy, Jared Ross over in Nebraska Transport. How are you? Good. Hey, Randy, I've got a uh, project coming up where um, I'm bringing some poles down into your neck of the woods, down into the kind of southeast area uh, for a utility company. And to be honest with you, I'm trying to find some loads back at least kind of central or east or west. I guess if I can get them west, not east, but if I go west, that'd be cool. I don't know how you guys handle your shipping, but I figured I'd just check in with you. Well, let me have your number and I'll see. But, you know, I've got guys that haul it all the time and I don't want to take anything away from them. Yeah. You know, because they've been with me for years. But uh, let me have your number. Yeah. Uh, cell phone, my cell phone is 308. Specialize in utility delivery. Um, and we primarily work for BN and UP, but they've got us going down south for some a random project. And so I figured I'd call another utility company like yourself or at least somebody that's making utility type product and, and go. You know what I mean? Right, right. All right. Uh, I got your number. If I get anything going back that way, I'll holler. Okay. That sounds great, man. I appreciate the time and uh, hope you have a great day. All right. Thank you. All right. So. Uh, he gave me a second, right? Which I thought was interesting. Mm -hmm. We have his email, right? Um, I, I think what we'll do is we'll send him an email. Again, I said Nebraska. Right. And we'll just put something in there. We're going to have to stay top of mind on there. Uh, there was a couple things that I heard very quickly. Yeah. He's got relationships in place. Doesn't want to take it away from them. Totally understand, right? Um, we've got to create more value than maybe his current. And it's a timing thing. Right? right? We're going to have to kind of keep in touch. You know, every time we get a poll load, they need to take a picture and send it to them. Yeah. Right? I like that. Simple enough. Um, so there's, uh, go back to, let me just, let me just make some notes real quick. Send company email Randy. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep making calls. It takes time. You know what I yeah. mean? It takes time. You have to have patience and you have to be consistent. Yeah. And honestly, if, you know, if I was brokering today, I definitely, I understand we're finding a lead. We're making calls. I think for me personally, it'd be better if I build my pipeline, gather all the information, oh, yeah. start making calls and then kind of go about it that way. 
Um, I, boy, you hit it on the head. Yeah. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. <laughs> no, but you're it, good. I think it's so important that you do the pre-work first mm -hmm. and be in that mindset and then, you know, go hammer out a bunch of calls. Yeah. Yeah. Way more efficient. That's why we, I look through and find the right leads and go, okay, does this make sense to this? Not, but we wanted to make a raw right. e-carrier check. Who do I like? Why do I like them? And make a call. Yeah. And I think if you, if you do that, it'll help you move to that next shipper. Okay. This didn't go very well. Well, I got this next one. Let's get it going. Right. You know, I think the downtime that we're doing now could, I think me personally it would be like, ah, oh, man, that call didn't go too well. Well, let's see what we can find next. And it's just kind of drags on. Right. Right. But yeah. So, I mean, teach their own, but, um, so I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's call a couple more here. Um, so we would look, there's like, that's funny. So there's forest products, you know, let's keep going here. Um, uh, building <laughs> products is kind of interesting. I like building products. Um, I also like weird names too. Lamp and Malphorus. Like, what's going on with that? Sign me up. Let's look at them, right? <laughs> lumber. lumber. <laughs> Man, all lumber. All right, let's go back. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. all right, let's keep going. Uh, let's go to that one building products. There's their LinkedIn. There's their building products. Yep, yeah, out of Pennsylvania. I like that. Uh, let's click into them. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> I'll just go straight to their to their contact page. Corporate, look at this. Corporate procurement manager is right there. And his name's Ron. Well, that's random, isn't it? Products. All right, scroll down a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is a weird. Well, go click on the thing on the bottom there. It says like um, members director, member directory. What do, what do we got going on there? Is this just a, like a leads channel right here? Like, what are they going to give us? Oh my gosh, it's every lumber company that they supply their products to. Adler Lumber, Timbers Trading Company, Lumber Supply, Bell Nap. I mean, literally, you could just start calling every single yeah. one of these. Now, yeah. I'm again. I'm. We're not calling lumber today, yeah. but you can see the opportunity. This is yeah. why so many people call lumber. Yeah. If you can find the niche lumber, there's money to be made there. Right. right. And I think I think those that do are watching this. You know, I probably if I was by myself, I don't know if I would have clicked on directory. Right. You know what I mean. So this is a different way we got to start thinking and kind of noticing the small details. So right. Glad yeah. You, let's glad let's, you did that. let's go back out of this one. I don't want to get all lumber. I don't mind lumber. I just, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, what is the new Millennium Building Systems? Why are they a mega? Let's just see what's going on. Are they, is lumber being hit? Steel joists and decks. Cool. Load tables. Yeah. Okay. Cl click into this guy. Building mm -hmm. success together. Big company. A steel dynamics company, which means... There's another company involved here. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's do some stuff. Go into about. Actually, you know what? I'd rather call somebody that's smaller just to see if we can get somebody on the phone. That's this is a big company. That's let's fair. try to find somebody smaller, see if we can get somebody on the phone. Okay. I like Stark Trust. They're taking lumber and making something from okay. it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And they're medium size, so let's take a look and see what they're doing. A leading manufacturer supplier of roof. Let's see locations. Let's take a look at this here real quick. Wowzer. Okay, they they've got a nice little footprint, but I don't think they're too big where we couldn't talk to somebody. So let's go back up into contact us and are about us. Downloads leadership team employees. Let's go to the leadership team for the sake of it. What are the chances they got their direct phone number? Yoder, Yoder, couple brothers, Mark. All right, let's go back into contact us and see, see if they have a, no, but corporate office, Canton, Ohio. Let's see what we can get here. You ready? Yes. Nine, 
go to their online job board. Yeah. Thank you for calling the Stump Trust Corporate Office. If you know the extension number of the person you'd like to speak with, please dial it now or press 4 for the company directory or component trust sales, press 5. To leave a message in our general voice now, please hold. Please leave your name, phone number, mm. and a This one could be a little bit longer as well. I, here's how I'd tackle this one. There's nothing wrong with that one. Um, I, I think it's worth your time if you just call a location. Okay. That's probably how I'd go about this. Yeah. Try to work a location to see if, well, click on one. Does it allow you to click on one? Can you click on that? Brings me the, the hand. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here, let's do this. Let's. Plant manager, office manager. Let's call this place. Okay, so where is this out of? This is out of Rhode Island. I see my guys. Nice North people. Kings. Business, business. Four one two nine five zero six nine. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay. Hey, this is Jared over at NTC. How are you? I'm good. What can I do for you? Hey, we uh, move flatbeds throughout the New England area, and I was wanting to see how you guys might be moving some of your trust work. Uh, let's see. Well, I've got Pete Denise, and she's on the phone. You want to hang on, or I can sure. transfer you over to her voicemail? No, nah, I'll hang on. I've got some time. Okay. Hang on. Thank you, sir. A little hesitation in his voice, but I didn't mind it. And guess what? It's the office manager. So if that's the case, let's see how this goes. If that's the case, I would call every damn location yeah. and call the office. Not that, was it the office manager? Go back to that picture. Yeah, she's the office manager. Denise Duckworth. She's got you know. She's got a flag behind her. Um, that's that's I like that picture. I feel like you and I should do more face picture things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are all good leads. Let's see how it goes with Denise. Now, she could be getting 7 million calls and is pissed off. She might have had a bad morning. Yep. You know, she's late to work or coffee spilled. Yeah. I'm not sure what we're getting here. Right. Right. But she also could have had a wonderful morning, mm -hmm. a little yoga, maybe just a nice little spritz of hot tea. Yep. And, and she's having a great morning. She's <laughs> looking forward to this conversation. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, too. We're going to keep it right here, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? So, hey, I'm perfect. Thank you. You caught me mid drink. I apologize. Please leave a message and I will return your call as soon as possible. Darn it. All right. We're not going to leave a voicemail. Normally, I would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, normally, I would and be really short and sweet. And I would try to touch that. That's a really interesting lead. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, a couple sure. things about their supply chain, okay? Because of how engulfed they are into that mid-Atlantic corn belt, right? If we go into their website or into eCarrier check real quick. Um, look, just look them up, Stark Trust real quick. We can just look them up. This is kind of a fun way of doing things. Right. Just click shipper. We can look them up. There's probably, you know, five different ones in here. But because of how in-depth, let's just talk about supply chain for a second, okay? Go back into the hiring index. Go into that one, and then let's go into the other one, okay? And go show me the carriers. Start trucking. Look at this. They got 72 power units out of Ohio. They are struggling a little bit, though. We'll go back down. Conditional, right? They may not have good processes in place in order to keep up with their equipment. Right. But they do have their own trucks. Now, go back to the other one. Go down and look at the trucks. Okay. So here's what I think is really interesting about this. 
And I think it's really important that you know what we just told you is that you can immediately, and I should have done this before we talked to Denise, but you could immediately avoid that rejection, right? Okay. Hey, I know you have your own trucks. We're used to hauling trusses, and I'd like an opportunity to see if there's some overflow that may not be on your trucks or if you have a driver call out sick. Great. Yeah, that, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that sounds awesome. wonderful, right? Yeah. So okay. um, uh, the other thing, here's a real quick supply chain 101, okay? If you go back to their, their, their website, okay, so look how close they are. If I built a house in um, Cincinnati, trusses are within 100 miles, right? right? Uh, if you build uh, one in New York, trusses are within 100 miles. West Virginia, Virginia, South Carolina. So all these loads are going to be extremely short. You know, they have 70 true trucks that are out of Canton. I'm going to guess they leave a truck at every plant yeah. or three at every plant. They have that many showing and they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 72 divided by five. They could leave six at every friggin' one. Yeah. Right. So that's something to be prepared for. Okay. Right. I also think that she got off the phone. Who is it? NTC thrown to my voicemail. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, just a couple things to work through. Right. Okay. Right. Um, you know, just at least give you an idea. They've got a really unique supply chain that allows them to probably make a trust and be on a house within a week's period, maybe even shorter. Right. Okay. So, just my thoughts. I like that. All right. Uh, let's make, let's make one more call. Let's make one more call. Uh, this time let's do it a different way. Let's do it a different way. Okay. Go into a carry our carrier mix. Okay. Go into, let's go to Charleston. And let's go running lanes between Charleston and Missouri. Okay. Do, nah, but you do just do, do Missouri, USA. Okay. And bring that out to maybe a hundred. Right. And let's just search this. It's a, it's a nice lane. Um, and I want to see, yeah, perfect. So right there is a company that's 19 power units. They've got open deck trailers. They've got a lot of inspections. Um, Go into there. Let's go here. Um, yes. Okay. And scroll down. Boom. They're working southeast. They really like Charleston or that South Carolina area. Um, mm -hmm. Look at this. Logan Aluminum. Soil Max, right? So there's some interesting leads right here mm -hmm. that I think are worth our time to call. Okay. So let's work this this backwards okay. okay so scroll down real quick go down go down mm, i like that go to the ag and chemical one it's taking a second here. it is taking a second here Maybe click back and grab either that or do the aluminum one. Either one is fine, but I kind of like either one. Logan aluminum. Yeah, we don't need to ship any Moet or NSC. There we go. Logan aluminum is a big company, right? Um, let's take a look at them. They're shipping all over the country. They're using big carriers. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go take a look at them real quick. Well, no, that's a big company. I don't want to be a call a big company. Sure. I'm trying to get somebody smaller. That's why I wanted the ag one. Try, right. try the Sorry, ag one. Go back to the ag one. <clears throat> uh, try just typing in Marin up uh, M E H R R I N. Let's try calling that.
Let me go back here. All right, let's try let's try the soil max one at the top then. Soil max. There are mega as well. Dang it. All right, let's go go back. McCall Farms. Try McCall Farms. Wow, there are let's click into them. What what do they do? I don't I mean Canned foods? Wow. Food service products, our brands, our growers, and they make all kinds of canned vegetables. Yams. Bruce's yams. Beginning with a 2,000 acre farm in Effingham has grown into a flourishing canning operation, acquiring a number of national brands invested in our product. All right. Um, all right, let's go back out of this then. Let's find a different carrier and go into them. I, the reason why I just want to see sometimes finding leads through our carrier mix is really unique way of, yes, yes. of finding leads, right? right. Um, now, that guy's been around for a while, so let's go to... Let's try scroll down a little bit. Down a little bit. Let's see. Actually, let's use our filters and just go large. Mid size to large. Either one or both. All right, go to that top one and see what he's got. Okay. Scroll down. Okay, see if we have any leads. He's doing cold storage. He's doing reefer stuff. Hmm, onions are interesting. Ooh, power systems may be interesting. Let's try both those. Let's try the onions first. Nope. Or power's fine. Power, power's fine. Power systems is a mega. All right. All right, let's try them. Onions are always an interesting product. Look at this. So they've got Champion Premium Onions, Create Facebook page, Snap on. Get rid of, um, yeah. Champion Onions. Champion Produce. There we go. World's finest onions. I wouldn't expect anything less. Have you ever hauled onions? No. I don't hauled like onions. Onions. <laughs> onions are not. Um, go to contact us. This is really interesting lead. Um, go go to contact us. You can see their website's just okay, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yes. Here's some phone numbers to all the people. Sales, sales support, our staff, general manager, storage and facilities, food safety. Nobody's really a sh shipping guy, but we can always call John. Uh, keep going back up. Go to about us. Um... Our partners, maybe? Onion Facts, okay. Triple C, there's all those companies. Okay, these are onions out of friggin' Idaho, right? And I've seen onions shipped a couple different ways. Okay. Okay. Onions can be shipped either A, on vented vans, right? Or B, on flatbeds. Okay. Onions are shifty little boogers, right? Imagine shipping a pallet of balls. Okay. Just doing that huh, with onions. It's friggin' ball. It's they're they're round shaped items that are in sacks. Guess what happens? They shift. They move. There's they're some crazy stuff. You also usually have to put tarps on them. They're not bad though. Let's okay. call. So at the very bottom was in uh. There we go. Oof, that was a little hard to read. Where's it at? Parma, Idaho is where? Give me an idea on Parma. Also, can we look up Champion Produce in eCarrier Check real quick? Yeah. So scroll out on the map if you can see it. So I can know what part of Idaho. Go keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. So it's like the southern, it's it's outside of Boise. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, so let's go into eCarrier Check and just look at Champion Produce.
they're using vans. They're using vented vans. They ship all over. Right, let's try it. Let's call them. Give me uh, the number again. 208 772. Nope. 722. 722. 5800. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Champion produce, this is Monica. Hey, Monica, this is Jared over at Nebraska Transport. How's it going? Good, thanks. Hey, I was hoping I could talk to somebody about some shipping or um, uh, potentially working with you guys. I, I had a few guys running up to Boise for the next few weeks, and I'm just trying to see what you might have out of there. You know, we are actually all customer routed. We don't get any trucks. Got it. We haven't, we haven't for about six years or so. Well, that's convenient. At least you don't have to deal with people like me to a certain extent. <laughs> Although I am, I am a very nice person. Um, just, you know, I'm from Nebraska. I can't be that bad, right? Can't um, be that bad. I'm ex sure. Exactly. Um, I, I mean, is there somebody I should be calling that you can think of that's up in that area? I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to fill some trucks that are running back south, essentially. Um, you know, I, I really don't know how the other ships run around here, but, um, I, yeah, I, I really guess you could try JC Watson's and see they're here in Parma. Are they? Yeah. Okay. I'm, other than that, I'm not real sure how anybody runs. Okay. No, hey, that's perfect. I mean, uh, you gave me a name and a number, and I, or a name at least, I could find a number, and uh, we'll just kind of keep going. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem at all. Cool. I hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk later at some point, maybe. So, okay, sounds all right. good. See you too. You. Bye. All right. Okay. So I got another, I got a lead from that call. Yeah. Very entertaining. That. She seemed nice. Thought it was good. This is cold call. Yeah, right. And that's something too that I've heard. I've heard uh, from multiple brokers is ah, the customer routed. Mm -hmm. I love how you. Well, is there anyone else maybe in that area? Mm -hmm. I was. I was kind of hoping that she would tell me a vendor without me prodding. Mm. <laughs> right. Right. Most likely, you could probably guess on one hand, it's probably being routed by Albertsons, mm. Safeway, yeah. Kroger. Right. Right. You see where I'm going with that. Right. So, but uh, you know, this is how cold calling goes, but this is raw cold calling yeah. in a sense of how do you look them up? What do you do? What am I looking for? And you got an example of each of those through, through those calls. Now yeah. there's follow-up, the money's in the follow-up guys. Yeah, sure. And you've got to be able to do that. Um, I've enjoyed today. Uh, I've enjoyed, you know, the calls and, and doing those things, yeah. you know, hit us up ecarriercheck.com. Uh, we do demos. Walk us through it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, um, yeah, we do demos every Monday. You know, obviously, um, and we want to make sure that we can touch base with everyone that comes our direction. Right. We want to help you, what we just did right now. Uh, but, yeah, every Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern, mm -hmm. demos, live yeah. demos. You can get some recording demos. Yeah. If you don't have the time on Mondays, I get it. It's the start of the week. Um, but they're there for you. We're here as well. Give us a call. Yep. We're here Monday through Friday. You know, if you have any questions, send us an email. Send us a cold call. We'll love to look. To listen to it absolutely so i love it have a wonderful day and uh keep calling it'll pay off in the long run thanks guys see you